Extreme Rules is 18 days away, and we have three matches to go over, and we'll go over them as quickly as we can. First off, the returning Team Hell No will face the SmackDown Tag Champions, the Bludgeon Brothers. Um, this literally happened as SmackDown was going out the air. Uh, Daniel Bryan was fighting Harper at the time. Rowan came in to cause his qualification. Kane came back for the first time in months, let alone probably the first time since last year as far as SmackDown goes, being on SmackDown. But uh, Paige then made the match, uh, Team LNL versus the Bludgeon Brothers for the tag titles. And I really don't know because this is the first time we have seen Kane for a while. Uh, obviously due to Glenn Jacobs having his uh, Knox County mayorship thing, or I don't know if that's still going on, honestly, but it, if it is, that's why. If not, then they just haven't had anything for him, and he's being used as, a, as an attraction, much like Undertaker should be. Um, but with that being said, I, I have to go with the Bludgeon Brothers just because I don't think Kane will be full-time again, or ever, honestly. So, uh, you know, this is just a, a marquee match to spite out the pay-per-view. And plus with Big Cass being released, you can't continue the, the Brian Cass feud. So you have to go a different direction. This is that different direction, but I don't think it'll happen. Carmella defends the SmackDown Women's Championship against Asuka. Um, we had the return of James Ellsworth. Uh, a lot of people thought this was going to happen, but we weren't sure, but it did. And, uh, you know, not Elder person play. I, I, I feel like Asuka needs this win. I, I said this last time because where does Asuka go from here? I, I mean, there are several women on the division that could face Carmel for the title. And if Asuka doesn't win here, then I, I don't feel that it could happen. Uh, however, I will go with Carmel just because, uh... Ellsworth is there, and Ellsworth could have the scrap distraction. Uh, again, I don't want Asuka to win to lose twice in a row, but ever since that loss of WrestleMania, Asuka has not been the same. The aura of Asuka has not been the same, and I don't think it'll happen. I mean, I, I want it to, but I don't think it will. And finally, the Raw Tenny Champions, the Woken Warriors, or the Deleter of Worlds, whatever you want to call them, will face the B-Team. And the B-Team has also been woken of sorts. It has been very weird these past few weeks. But Kurt Angle did get the win against Matt Hardy last night on Raw, or a couple nights ago on Raw, rather. But uh, I don't know. This was this is the hardest match so far. Because both of these teams are undefeated, so a loss is guaranteed in this match. Unless you want to go double countout or double disqualification and have the feud continue. But this is not the match for that. I, I mean, sadly, as great as the B team has been, the B team will lose this match. And we'll just continue with another team down the road. But with that being said, Extreme Rules is 18 days away. So anything can happen, and any match could happen. I mean, we saw Team Hell No come back, so literally anything is possible on this card in the weeks to come. 